Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. In this video, we are going to show you how to perform femoral nerve block. It is the easiest and superficial block which can be performed by the beginners. It is relatively simple to perform, carries low, low risk of complications and result in high success rate. The indication for femoral nerve blocks in EDs are usually for hip, femur, anterior thigh, and knee traumas, either for CMRs or pain management. So now, let's see the technique for femoral nerve block. Patient lies in the supine position. The ipsilateral lower limb is adapted 10 to 20 degrees and slightly externally rotated with the lateral side of the foot resting on the table. The aim is to block this nerve at its most accessible proximal location and optimize block distribution. The femoral nerve is at its most superficial point along its course approximately at a point just distal to the inguinal ligament lateral to the femoral artery. Key landmark to aid identification of femoral nerve is the femoral artery. Now, place your high frequency linear transducer on the femoral crease. To achieve optimum block, scan the femoral artery before it branches into profunda femoris artery. Two distinct atrial patterns will be seen to distinguish these two areas, Mickey Mouse and Snowman signs. Mickey Mouse signifies a more distal area along its course, whereas Snowman corresponds to a more proximal area along its course, which is superficial and amenable for bluff. Once at Snowman point, Focus on a triangular area lateral to femoral artery. Always ensure that probe is perpendicular to plane at all times and move in alignment throughout the distance between snowman and Mickey Mouse points. These points may just be millimeter away from each other and may even be differentiated by tilting of the transducer. Proceed to block femoral nerve by identifying a honeycomb structure at this triangular area beneath fascia iliaca which may lie either on the iliacus muscle itself or indenting the iliacus muscle or within substance of the iliacus muscles. Needle insertion point should be about 1 cm lateral to the transducer in a lateral to medial orientation and not nearer. If needle is inserted just next to the transducer, a broader skin to needle angle trajectory will cause considerable degree of undetected reflected echoes being diverted away from the needle. Targeted needle entry area should be at apex of the triangle which consists of fascia lata iliaca complex. We aim our needle to pass the posterior surface of femoral nerve so it subsequently become more superficial, creating a shallower skin to needle angle trajectory for the next needle pass anteriorly. Smaller angle of trajectory for second needle pass would enhance needle visibility. After negative aspiration of blood, LA is injected in divided helicots covering exposed surfaces of the nerve. This block usually requires a maximum dose of 20 ml of local anesthetic. After a circumferential spread of LA around femoral nerve is obtained, our job is done. Thank you.